Hey, look what just showed up. It's my Dino Fury set from Amazon. It finally arrived the very day we're packing up to go home. But hooray, it looks fantastic. This is of course the American set from Hasbro. It includes all five dinosaurs. Well, most of them are dinosaurs anyway. And as always, there is a direct link in the video description right below the video. Staying one extra night so I can get this video done and then we're leaving, because then it's gonna be about a week. We're driving across the country from Oregon back to Pennsylvania, so obviously won't be able to post then. So here's a quick video, hope you guys enjoy. Don't these look fantastic? You can extend the legs. Eh? Eh? The arms, you can do that too, and they bend. Not so much with these things here, but they're not in every formation. The hands turn, the head is on a ball joint. You could have it looking in different directions. Uh-oh, I broke it. There we go. Pops back in. Feet are also on a ball joint. These are really good. Really impressed with these. All right, let's bring them together. And I'm happy to say it's been staying together just fine. You know, like sometimes you put a bunch of things together and then they're kind of hard to handle. You know, they, they want to fall off, but so far so good. And then I, I think this is screen accurate, but then, you know, you can keep building. Who's gonna stop you, right? You wanna take this piece and put it over here, you know, live a little dangerously. You could do that. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Maybe he needs a thing over here. Eh. Maybe a thing over here. You know, sometimes you just need to shoot somebody out of your knees, right? Yeah. Hasbro also included some additional pieces and you can use that to make him a little taller if you wanted to. Maybe he gets a pointy thing here to, you know, if he wants to kick somebody, right? That That's gonna hurt. There. Now you certainly don't want to get kicked in the butt by this Megazord, right? That, that would hurt. All right, let's look at the Green Ranger formation. Now let's look at the Black Ranger formation. Blue and pink formations. And now I can confirm you don't want to step on these. I just did that. If you buy the Zords individually, you get red, black and blue, green and pink, and then Hasbro gave you some extra parts so you can make things with green and pink and black and blue. So here, take a look. That's kind of fun. And you can use the extra pieces in the Megazord formations to make other things as well. The keys that come with the figures are compatible with the Zords. I don't really have the right lens for this with me, so, but here. This piece comes off in the back and there's a little tiny, maybe you can see it, little tiny ranger in there, which is pretty fun. 
So that goes back on here. But actually, you have to take this piece off if you want to take the key and then put it in the morpher, which is compatible. So the Zord keys are compatible with, with the, with the, with the morpher. Don't lose that though. So unless this is the first MMPR Toys video you're seeing, you probably know that I tend to favor the Japanese Megazords, because uh, the U.S. they're usually missing things, especially paint, electronics. They don't really have so much electronics these days. But anyway, um, in general, I usually prefer the Super Sentai things. I, I think this one wins, really. I mean, there's hardly any paint missing. A little bit here and there. Uh, like there should be a little bit of silver here, a little bit of black down here. It's like hardly noticeable. I mean, there have been plenty of Zords where you just look at it and you're like, wow, that's really missing a lot of chrome, paint, uh, die cast, something shiny, uh, you know, stickers. But I mean, this, this is really, it's, they've added all this articulation. You've hardly lost any paint. Uh, I mean, they even got the black in the visor here. Japan didn't do that. I painted mine because that really bothered me. Like that really, and the head is a little bit bigger on the US version and you can turn it. So in most cases, I think the, the Hasbro version wins this time. Uh, Beast Morphers, I appreciated the articulation, but I don't know, there's just, well, for one thing, it, it didn't want to stay together. Uh, <laughs> for whatever reason, Hasbro kind of filed down some of these thingies that you can plug things into. So like in Japan, you could put a thing there and you can't hear. I don't know why they did that because the things are still kind of there, just not raised enough to, I don't know, that's weird, but like overall, I, I would go with the American version this time. The Japanese version is still nice. I, I still, of course, I'm gonna have that, but <laughs> yeah. Really, really impressed with the Hasbro version. I think you need that. Direct link is in the video description and it's really getting late and I, I gotta finish packing. So I'm gonna end here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're one of our vlog channel people, five Oregon videos have been posted during our trip. The latest is from the Oregon coast, so those are up now. And if you missed it over here, we've posted two recent Dino Fury videos, one for Gold Ranger and Void Knight, and then the Electronic T-Rex. And there is a Patreon video for both of the MMPR Toys videos showing how I did various things. I know some of you guys are wondering where I found time to vacation during this vacation with all the editing I've been doing. <laughs> That's okay, I like to edit. Okay, gonna end here. Good night.